We're here at ETH Denver and I'm with Edward from Multi uh, to talk about what Multi is. But before we begin that, Edward, just walk us through your journey into Web3 and, and how you got into Multi. It really started, oh, back in 2019, learning about Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, that, that really got to me. Uh, just, yeah, this kind of new financial system and how that would look like. Uh, and also just, you know, I mean, anything from inflation and seeing this, this new asset come forth yeah, as a new store of value for a digital edge. Uh, but then I, I was studying at the time, so uh, it went a few years and then I also did, yeah, I studied yeah, for a few years, but then decided to quit that to, okay. yeah, because I, my understanding was that like blockchain and AI was, was coming. Okay. The, so you kind of started your career in Web3 then? Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. That's phenomenal to see that foresight. Walk me through, uh, like you co-founded Multi, like how did, how did you come up with the idea behind Multi and, and then take, take the courage to take that first step to start building? Oh yeah. So yeah, let, let me start with, so two and a half years ago, I started Metaspect and that was, so I was doing mostly, I've been doing mostly research and uh, yeah, so ecosystem, market reports, protocol level, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and also more on like the strategy side of blockchain applications in general. So that has been my entry point in this space. And now with Multi, so I, I read their white paper like maybe you know, one and a half years ago. And uh, so they had been building this out from KTH in, in Stockholm uh, as a PhD program. Uh, so, so they're really been working on, yeah, computer science, algorithm backgrounds. And uh, yeah, and I was just fascinated by the idea. And uh, yeah, so having a self-optimizing asset-backed currency, that was the, that could act like keys to, uh, to this tokenized global economy that is getting mature. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I, I, I decided to, to contact them and, uh, and like, due to my experience, like as a crypto native on like using stuff and analyzing and researching both Ethereum, Solana and all kinds of like chains. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they needed that kind of like competence to bring this to market. How do we communicate this? And yeah. I'm always fascinated with the wisdom of the crowds and how that can actually be a, a good optimization tool. And so when you're describing to me how you kind of gamify a way to to get that wisdom of the crowd. So walk from like a product perspective for multi, like how do you guys like walk us through the game and, and what the output of the game is? Yeah. So it's really, so to start with, asset management performance competition platform. Um, and what we really want to do here is to incentivize any kind of asset allocator to compete on performance. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, we, uh, yeah, we also have a dual token backed system. So by doing this competition, the underlying will be self-optimized over time. So we will use that, uh, yeah. And there will also be a natural selection of, that, of those asset allocators over time. So we really want to create like a new kind of decentralized base currency mm -hmm. that is asset backed and that is backed by assets that are productive. And um, yeah, because you really want to have uh, an average performance over time. Yep. And to do so, you need, yeah, real assets that, that perform well over time. So high quality assets. And, and, and that's really what the gamify, like the gamif gamification optimizes for you. Yeah. Yeah. So really kind of using a trading, a trading competition to drive asset allocation decisions. Are you guys thinking, um, is it any digital asset could be kind of included in this platform? Yes, so I, yeah, I would say any kind of asset. Um, yeah, and, uh, and that's one of the reasons also why, we, why we're building on ICP, yeah, due to the chain fusion and, and instead of using like a bridge as an external dependency or yeah, security bridge and stuff like that, we see this as, as a more secure solution for that and to be, to, to be able to add any asset from, from any chain, because that's really what this, the end game for this token is for. 
So, yeah. And uh, yeah, if we really like further ahead in the future, it could really become a, as a substitute, as a, a medium of exchange. Mm -hmm. But as we see it, it's more of a, like a, a new concept uh, or new medium of value. Right. So uh, instead of having like a stable coin that is yeah, pe pegged to fiat, or you have Bitcoin that is yeah, not intrinsically backed. Mm -hmm. We want to create something that is multi-backed and stable. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love I love like touching on the fact that chain fusion allows you to talk with every chain uh, in in our in our industry, but also brings us security. The securities office is super important when there's financial uh, assets at stake. Um, kind of like uh, in, in terms of like the competition, is this a really short competition, a couple of weeks, or what? What is the timeline like for for how long these competitions run for? Yeah. So. so yeah, what we're looking for is really a, a more longer term timeline. Mm. Because what, yeah, what we're really, you know, interested in is getting those kind of real assets that are as the global on-chain economy like grows and matures, those are, you know, any kind of productive assets. So like I foresee a future where, you know, machine time can be a productive asset. Okay. And these are the kind of assets that we see in this like diversified reserve protocol. Oh, I see. So not even just Bitcoin, Ethereum, or tokenized uh, R RWAs, or, but you're thinking like even like tokenized compute or tokenized. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. And yeah. And again, I might have mentioned this before, but just the like keys to the token tokenized global economy. So, yeah. you know. Wouldn't you want to own, like, it doesn't matter how much you own, but if you own multi, you can redeem it for any kind of all of these backed assets. I see. So so a true medium of exchange across digital assets. Yeah. This is a phenomenal vision that you guys have. Uh, I'm sure people's interest has peaked. How can they learn more about multi? Where should they follow you to, to keep up to date on new information? Yeah. So... I think the best way, website, but, but of course, like reach out to us. We also have a Telegram, Twitter, and multi-currency IO. That's the- Multi-currency.io? Yeah, that's the- uh, What's the yeah. what's the X handle? It's the same. Same, multi-currency? So, yeah, IO. IO, yeah. okay. But then the website, multi-currency.io. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'd love to hear feedback and yeah, look forward to collaborating throughout yeah, the whole ecosystem and yeah. Uh, Drive value to to ICP. Yeah, you've got a v phenomenal vision, uh, Edward, and I look forward to watching as you as you play. Thank you for taking the time for the interview. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you.